I was with Mr. Polnikova. And then he gave me a gift. Don't open it. It must be a trap, Samuel. And Samuel, what's in it? There is a huge diamond. Samuel, we need to return the gift immediately. You've made the mistake before, Samuel. Don't trust Mr. Polnikova again. It's best to return the diamond quickly. Hello. This is Marion Polnikova speaking. I'd like to report a theft. What was stolen? I'm missing a diamond. I'll find your diamond, Mr. Polnikova. We've almost done it. Sarah's house is over there. We must return the diamond to Mr. Polnikova. I know what you've done. You stole Mr. Polnikova's diamond. You're not going to just get away with it this time. I don't know what you mean. So what did I do? Don't try to trick me. You stole Mr. Polnikova's diamond. That is not true. I didn't steal it. He gave me the diamond. That can't be. Why would he just give you a diamond? You stole it. I know it. I'm not a thief anymore. Please believe me. Let's talk to Mr. Polnikova. That's when we'll know the truth. Please excuse the interruption. We need to talk to you. No problem, Mr. Meyer. I see you've already found Samuel. It wasn't hard to find him. He was right in front of your house. Why did you bring him to me? He says you gave him the diamond. Is that true? Of course not. I would never give the diamond away. It's worth too much for that. That is not true. You gave me a gift box. It had the diamond in it. Maybe in your dreams. In reality, nothing like this ever happened. I ask you, Mr. Meyer, why should I give away something so valuable? Your story doesn't make sense, Samuel. Besides, does the boy have a criminal history or not? He has already stolen once. Why shouldn't he do it again? You are right, Mr. Polnikova. Once a thief, always a thief. Samuel, you're coming with me now. We'll keep you with us. Until we have enough proof to get you to jail. You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. I hate you. You'd better come with me now. Otherwise, you will receive a report for insult. What's up, Lisa? Why are you crying? And where is Samuel? Mr. Polnikova tricked Samuel. What happened? He gave him a gift. It was a huge diamond. That can't be true. Mr. Polnikova would never give away his diamonds. I told Samuel the same thing. But he didn't want to believe me. That's when Polnikova called the police. He told them Samuel had stolen the diamond. Where is Samuel now? He's with the police. We need to go there quickly. Maybe we can help him out. Hello. How can I help you? Hello. My name is Peters. I'm Samuel's father. When can Samuel come home again? The boy stays here. For now, all the evidence is against him. 
we'll keep him with us until we have enough proof. If he's innocent, he can go. If he is guilty, he goes to jail. But he didn't do anything. You must prove that. Until then, he'll stay here. Then we'll prove it. Come with me, Lisa. You wanted to see me, Lisa. What is there? Sarah, I really need your help. What is it this time? It's about Samuel and your dad. Why should I help Samuel? He wasn't nice to me. My dad figured it out. He always knew who Samuel really was. Samuel was with us so often. And then he steals from us. I can't believe it. You can't believe it because it isn't true. Why are you always on his side, Lisa? It's only a matter of time before he hurts you too. That is not true. Samuel is nice. I need to prove he's innocent somehow. He didn't steal the diamond. It's easy for us to find out. How then? There are cameras everywhere in our house. I know my dad's password. Come on, I'll show you the videos. That's when you finally see that Samuel is a liar. The password is my date of birth. Here is the video from yesterday. Look, there are Samuel and my dad in our living room. Talking to each other first. And then my dad gives Samuel a gift box. Why does he do that? I told you that. Your father tricked Samuel. He wanted to get rid of him from the start. He doesn't think Samuel is good for you. Oh my God, you're right. We need to show the footage to the police immediately. So Samuel doesn't go to jail. I don't understand that. Why did my dad lie? That doesn't make sense. Your dad never liked Samuel before, Sarah. He's always tried to get rid of him. All these things Samuel did were ideas from your father. I need to talk to him about this. Yes, definitely. But let's go to the police first. So that Samuel is finally free again. Yes, you're right. We've got to hurry. I'm sorry Lisa. I didn't believe you. You were right the whole time. Sarah, don't worry. It's not your fault. What are you doing here, kids? Hello, Mr. Meyer. Hello, Mr. Meyer. My brother didn't steal the diamond. Mr. Polnikova gave him the diamond. You've said that before. Where is the evidence? We've got a video. Watch the video to see what really happened. Please show it to me. Look, that's when Mr. Polnikova gives Samuel the gift. He didn't steal the diamond. Mr. Polnikova gave it as a gift. I've seen it all. So Samuel can go home again? It is still too early for that. Why is that? The video was enough proof. We are still waiting for the evidence from Mr. Polnikova. Then we can decide. Mr. Polnikova has until this evening. Please leave the laptop here. We'll watch the video a few more times. If he doesn't have any proof, we'll let Samuel go.
I can't believe what you've done. What do you say, sweetie? You would really do anything to achieve your goals, wouldn't you? I can't follow you. It's about Samuel, Dad. The boy you put in jail. Just so I don't spend any more time with him. I had to do it, Sarah. You don't know what's good for you. So you're admitting it? I've always been honest with you. That is not true. You've been playing a game with me the whole time. Why don't you let me make my own decisions? Because you're too young for that. Look at it, Sarah. You're too naive. You don't understand how the world works yet. Mario is much better for you. Think about your future. You don't want a poor husband. You don't know what I want. What do you want to do now? Do you want to run away again? You've done that before. You've come back again. It will just be the same. No, I won't go. I'm staying here. But for me, you don't exist anymore. We might be living together. But I won't talk to you anymore. And spend time with you. Dad, we did it. Have you found enough evidence? Yes, Sarah helped me. She knows her father's password. His laptop had video of a security camera. You can see everything in the video. Mr. Polnikova actually gave Samuel the diamond. So Samuel will be free to go? Yes, they'll let him go in a few hours. There is nothing more Mr. Polnikova can do. That's good news. Yes, hello. This is Mr. Meyer. Hello, Mr. Meyer. This is Mr. Polnikova speaking. Where did you get my number? It's not important. Listen to me carefully. You have my laptop. There's a video on it. Yes, I know. As it stands, Lisa and Sarah were right. You gave away the diamond. You must make the video disappear. The video is important proof. Why should I make it disappear? Are you alone? Yes, I'm alone. If you delete the video, I'll give you 100,000 euros. 100,000 euros, you say? You really want to get rid of the boy. It doesn't matter to me. I'll do anything for 100,000 euros. We've got a deal. I'm happy to hear that. Very good. Here is what you need to do. The first thing to do is delete the video on the laptop. Okay, I'll do it. What comes after that? After that, you need to make the laptop disappear. What should I do with the laptop? It's up to you. It's better if I don't know. I've got it. So if I do both, I will get 100,000 euros? Yes, that's right. I don't care about the money. The important thing is that the boy goes to jail. Okay, I'll get back to you when the laptop is gone. I'm sorry, Samuel. But I can't say no to 100,000 euros. Even though I have to break the rules to do so. Well, the video is now deleted. Now I just have to make the laptop disappear. I'll have to wait a few more hours. I can only go when I'm off work. Dad, when can we pick up Samuel? 
Police have said Polnikova still has some time to provide evidence. But his time will soon be over. I think we can go to the police soon. Then Samuel can finally come home. Are you excited to see your brother? Yes, I'm very happy. I really miss Samuel already. I believe that. Come on, let's go straight to the police. The earlier we get there, the better. Yes, good idea. How can I help you? Hello, Mr. Meyer. When can we take Samuel back home? Samuel needs to stay here first. Why is that? There is new evidence against him. What kind of evidence do you mean? I can't tell you that. I need to keep it a secret. I don't understand that. I thought we could take Samuel with us today. You were wrong about that. And when will we find out what's next? Samuel is going to have to stay here another night. You will then find out what happens next. That doesn't make sense. The video on the laptop is clear. As I said, there is new evidence. Can I at least watch the video myself? I want to see exactly what happened. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. All evidence must be kept secret. We'll be back tomorrow. And then we'll take Samuel with us. There's something wrong here, Dad. I did see the video after all. Why wouldn't the policeman show it to you now? It's really weird. I also don't know what new evidence there should be. I thought the whole thing would be settled once and for all. What else do we have to do to prove Samuel's innocence? There is something fishy about this. I'm sure of that. Mr. Polnikova is definitely up to something again. You can really not trust him with anything. We must be very careful. What do you think we should do? Let's go after the policeman. Maybe then we'll find out what happened. Pursuing a policeman is very dangerous. Are you sure that's a good idea? I don't see any other option. Okay, let's do it then. It is 1730. I can go home. Now I just have to make the laptop disappear. I know the perfect place to get rid of the laptop. No one will find it there. Until now, I've always been honest. But I earn far too little money. 100,000 euros would change my entire life. I could finally emigrate to Spain. It'll be nice. No more trouble with criminals. Mr. Meyer is heading towards the sea. What is he doing there? That can't mean anything good. I've almost done it. Just a bit more. Quick, we have to go after him. This is the perfect spot. No one is ever going to find the laptop. Oh no, what are you doing here? We've seen it all. You're telling us what happened right now. Otherwise, we'll call your colleagues. Please don't call anyone. I'll tell you everything. Why did you throw the laptop in water? 
Where is the video? It's not what it looks like. It looks like you destroyed the evidence. No, I haven't. That was another laptop. We don't believe a word you say. What did Polnikova give you in return? Mr. Polnikova has nothing to do with it. I promise. We knew there was something wrong here. First, you don't want to let Samuel go. Then don't show me the video. It was the only proof. And you destroyed it. Okay, I'll admit it. Mr. Polnikova paid me for it. He said I should delete the video first. And then make the laptop disappear. What does he give you in return? He said I would get 100,000 euros. That is really unbelievable. And you're also taking part in it. I can't believe it. There is nothing personal about it. I could really use the money though. Please don't tell anyone the truth. We will now go to Mr. Polnikova. Then we'll come to you and take Samuel with us. Did you understand that? Yes, I understand. I can't believe that Mr. Polnikova actually did that. He really wanted to put Samuel in jail. We must stop him. Before it's too late. Yes, poor Samuel. He is innocent. Hello, Mr. Polnikova. This is Mr. Meyer. Good evening, Mr. Meyer. It's good to have you call. Were you able to get everything done? Well, how am I supposed to say that? Is there a small problem? A small problem? What do you mean by that? I don't like problems. I was caught? How can that be? No one knew where you were. Who caught you? Lisa and Mr. Peters were here. Did they see anything? Yes, they saw me throw the laptop into the water. Okay, but you deleted the video and threw the laptop into the water? Yes, the laptop is gone. I can't imagine anyone finding it. Very good. Where are Lisa and Mr. Peters now? They're on their way to you. What should I do now? Don't worry. Behave normally. I'm already taking care of Lisa and Mr. Peters. So I should just go home. And pretend that nothing happened? Yes, that is exactly what you should do. Cover your tracks and go home. I'll get back to you later. Mr. Polnikova, we need to talk to you. Mr. Peters, what a lovely surprise. What are you doing here? You know exactly why I'm here. Did you really think you could get away with that? You bribed a policeman. It's a crime. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you serious about that? Now you're lying too. Like I said, I have nothing to do with it. We caught you red-handed. What are you going to do now? We're going to get Samuel out of jail. After that, we'll sue you. Leave my family alone. Good luck with that. Hello. We'd like to take Samuel with us. He's been here long enough. There is no evidence against him. I've looked at the documents. You can take Samuel back with you. He can go. Thank you so much. Samuel, come on.
We're going home. Welcome back home, Samuel. Thanks for getting me out of there. I didn't steal anything. We know that, Samuel. Don't worry about it. So is there enough evidence to support me? There was a video. They saw Polnikova giving you the diamond. But the video has disappeared. What's the next step? We're going to sue Polnikova. He destroyed the evidence. So that you stay in jail. We must stop him. Hello, Mr. Polnikova. What can I do for you? Mr. Hubracht, I need your help. A boy stole from me. I wanted to put him in jail for that. I had to bribe a policeman. Unfortunately, my plan didn't work. Is there any evidence against you? No, the evidence is all destroyed. Then there is no problem. I'll take care of that. You can count on me. The boy will soon be in jail. Who wants to sue Mr. Polnikova? A. The Meyer family. B. Peter's family. C. Schultz family. Leave a comment.